Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup semi-final between Darun and Ornan. Starts off with a brilliant coaching for both sides. Um, Darun with the Orcs won the coin toss, chose to receive, of course, to get hits in. And his mighty blow makes the difference between getting removal and the first block. So straight away, Darun feeling vindicated for taking mighty blow. Um, what, I, what I don't like about his setup here is he's got mighty blow on both sides of the pitch. I think one of the advantages of having two mighty blow is being able, you know, variety of blitz targets. So I think I think I would have rather seen them on different sides of the pitch to start off with. Um, yeah, so a bit of background. Darun has a 59% win rate in Champs Ladder, but 64 with Orcs, over like 300 games with Orcs. Um, he qualified from ICBBL. He's Canadian and uh, mostly plays in the PS4. Uh, his opponent Ornan has a 65% win rate in Champs Ladder, qualified through Rebel, and is American. Um, they, skills wise, yeah, Darun picked Mighty Blow in his Blitzer, and predictably Ornan took guard on his uh, on his tackle guy. So Ornan does have five guard, and. The run only has four, so I, I personally would have taken guard, but you know, it's it's fair enough to have more mighty blow. Um, as it is, the humans have a mighty blow piling on and a mighty blow guy, so I guess he felt that he was more likely to get out bashed if he if he let uh, if he let the humans have more mighty blow than him. Um, well, there you go. I, again, I asked the. I asked everyone to send me some hard-hitting questions. Um, Darun would have one orc thrower uh, on his orc team because two is unfair to others. <laughs> Dur uh, oh, no, yeah, no, that was Darun. I don't know if I said it wrong. Darun, Darun would have only one throw because two would be unfair. Ornan would have zero because he'd have goblins to carry the ball. Um, Darun would go with three vampires. Ornan would only go with two. <laughs> um... Darun says PS4 rules, PC drools. Ornan says console days are long behind me. Um, they both think they both think Blood Bowl lame. Blood Bowl memes are pretty lame, and Darun misses Shawnee's hair. Basic uh, in the in the in the in the decision between fighting a chimp or a monkey, um, a chimp or a monkey, a chimp or a goblin. Darun shows the goblin because they're not real, basically. Um, and Ornan said, why not both? The reason not both is because a chimp could rip your arms off. So. <laughs> um, and the worst advice on Reddit, Darun says, what's Reddit? And Ornan says, uninstall Blood Bowl 2 was the worst advice he ever saw on... Uh, I think that's up there with the best advice I've seen on Reddit. He must not, he must not visit there much. <laughs> Um, that definitely, I mean, uninstalling Blood Bowl can definitely be a good a good thing for a lot of people, you know. A lot of people get really salty, and, and taking a break from Blood Bowl is certainly something. Now, what I don't like, I think, straight, right, this is turn three, and Darun's committed hugely hard. Now, what I like here is just moving this black hole four squares, so and not standing up the guard, so that, you know... Yeah, sure, you might get stuck on a line over him, but you can always go back this way, you know? Um, it stops the Pom Blitz for a turn. So I wouldn't have hated going here and then just caging here. Um, you know, this, this Black Hawk could have come here and he could have caged here, but he's gone really, really wide over there. And he's not fast enough to then, you know, go here and then go forward next turn. So really all he's going to have to do is... He's put all of his players over one side just to bring them back to the middle next turn, probably. So, yeah, I really didn't like that. I would have definitely just stayed in the middle and tried to fight a bit longer. That uh, Black Orc gets stunned for his troubles. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I really didn't like that by to run. You're giving up blocks, and 
Ornan's got the guard. He's going to take these blocks and just just punch punch things down. Why not? That one was a bit dodgy, especially this catcher. I think this catcher, I would have put in the catcher there and made that a two dice. I don't think goblin orcs are really threatening a breakthrough here so much. Um, but I mean, you know, it's certainly not bad to shut it down. But you know, the fact that he's got the ogre there with guard, he, he couldn't really break through here anyway, so I think maybe he's making that a two dice would be better. But again, just being very nitpicky um, overall, of course. Both players are going to play well. See, so that's the thing, right? He's knocked some guys down, but he just hasn't got the movement to, to push forward and break through and wouldn't want to even if he did because it's turn four. So I think there's definitely been a, a kind of strategical error, if you like, by Durant here um, in that he's gone really hard on the sideline unnecessarily. Turn three, turn four, he's doubled down on it. He hasn't even tried to rescue rescue his options, you know. He's, he's given himself no options now. Um, and, yeah, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, but there you go. It's fair enough, isn't it? It's just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. He's got his scoring threat here. He's got the potential pass option, so... That's something. Another AV break. Just quietly getting a getting a few AV breaks is all on here. But you know, this is this is basically to run using the face to fist technique, isn't he? <laughs> you can get a surf here. Um, it's it's not super easy. You could bring a guy in and then block, and then you know you could two dice it. It's the ogre or something. That's probably what I would try and do. Instead, Durham goes for the one dicer and gets the power. So no, no AV brain. I just think if this was guard, he could bring in an assist and blitz the ogre here on two dice because he's, he hasn't got guard. He can't. He's going to try and break forward still. Oh well, he's got the two dice anyway. But really need the power, didn't he? This push has, has left him in all kinds of problems. Maybe he could have re-rolled that. Um, you know, you obviously don't want to re-roll a, a two dice block without block, but he had four, that was turn five, and I think he really needed the power here. There could, he could have surfed the ball carrier here, um, a few ways. Um, so you know you can see the situation. It's not. It's not exactly the situation, but um, yeah, you know the, the the main way would have been, I think the the easiest way to surf would have been blocking with the ogre first, hoping for a pow, and then this lineman could have blitzed and then put him on the sideline, and then he could have done things. Um, also, could have just blocked here and blocked here and got two dice on the ball. But he, he kind of goes for the save. You know, there was a number of ways he could have chain surf things and whatever. He could have got hits on the ball. He could have just blocked with this lineman, blocked with the ogre, and then maybe he's had two dice on the ball. But I honestly prefer what Oran did of just basically shutting, shutting down the score. That would have been a big bonehead. Uh, no, that wasn't the ogre. This would be a big bonehead by the ogre here, I think. But he doesn't bonehead, and and what a huge power that is! He gets him strength five guard, gets the AV break, and gets strength five guard on both these guys, and that's huge. Now, I don't really like this by now. Obviously, you know, this is the thing. When when you're playing, you kind of think of things yourself, don't you? And this guard in here gets him two dice on the uh, on the black hook, which is good. Um, but this catcher isn't doing a whole lot. Really anything. I think the catcher being down here would have been better. Stop the breakthrough. Um, because, you know, now if I was if I was to run here, I'd just dodge, blitz, run around, run him around, 
and run him. Now there'd be there'd be about six GFIs in this. <laughs> there'd be two three plus dodges, a three plus one dice blitz, and about six GFIs. But you know you'd have a chance of screening off there. Whereas if if this catcher was here, we would just have that wouldn't be an option. So now the only option for Darun is really running back, passing to this Lino and potatoing with him, which potatoing is just running unprotected. Um, you know, and that, that's pretty much all he's got on now is is this. Is this lineman really is his only chance? Which which may actually be better better odds than all the crazy stuff I would have done. So he does the blitz with him to free him. That's fair enough. He, the only other way would have been a dodge and reach here finds somebody else. So he gets the cars randomly, and obviously instant apple there on a badly hurt super player. And now he GFIs there. Now he GFI'd just to get him nowhere. I don't like that. I think you just put him here and you know, one, two, three, put the other black orc there so he's got guard on him. So he just he used his reroll to get further away and make the pass harder. And Oh god, he based the he based the ball on the pass and it was just all it was just all horrible, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> it was a six plus pass because he was based, and it was just yeah, that was that was not good. Um, so that was horrible scatter there for Ronan for once. Um, you know, any any other scatter the catcher could have run in, maybe he's tried to pick up. Does he go for another scatter? He does. And gets a horrible scatter. I don't know. I don't know if he needed that scatter there. To be honest, he, he he was already on two tackle zones, but he went for it anyway. Got his catcher in. And yeah, I mean that's that's a it's it's tougher. I mean it, it is tougher uh, to run here. Absolutely. The ogre finally boneheads. Now here I think, I think uh, I think Durun's maybe is a little bit, a little bit uh, tunnel vision. You know he's got the idea of passing this guy. There's definitely an option of uh, blocking this chap and then having him down as a scoring threat. And then also to clear the ball here, I would clear the ball. Uh, this black orc could go one, two, three, four. GFI, stand him up, blitz with black orc, and then if you pow, you move the catcher away. And then that leaves him free to go one, two, three, four, five. Pass it to this guy down here. You know, something. I think there were, there were things he could have done here, definitely. Um, as it is. He's still got turn eight, so he doesn't have to pick up the ball this turn. But. Yeah, I think I, think I would have gone for something like that. And he knocks him down. He just makes the three dice with the, with the thrower. I think he should definitely should have GFI'd this turn. So, you know, he's got three rerolls. I think he should have done the three dice block first. And then GFI'd with this guy, maybe. Uh, with the reroll available. Just so you're not going to have to do it next turn. And he just goes for the dodge outs here. Which, to be fair, if you weren't going to clear... If you weren't going to pick up the ball this turn... Maybe he didn't even have to blitz over here. Maybe he could have blitzed there and got two guys down field. If he was going to blitz here, with that, with that bonehead, he could have actually got three players up the blitz. Might have been an idea. But, you know, again, it's easy, to, it's easy to say in this situation he could have done different things. And he gets Kaz there. A mighty blow doing work. Um... And yep, obviously instant apple because it was a badly hurt. Actually, the mighty blow did nothing. It was just a. It was a ten into a ten. So. And on and rerolled a push there, by a non-block player. I don't know what his thinking was. Um, but went into the one in nine. 
And now, there, there is a chance for the run here, isn't there? You're telling me there's a chance. So, he actually, he, he shouldn't have followed here. Um, so he had to make that block because if he doesn't block, it's a one in that, it's a one in six intercept. But he, he shouldn't have followed there because it's got in the way of one, two, three, four, five for the pass. So, but he's got a chance of the pass here, five plus, and double ones it. So yeah, I, I actually when I was watching it, I didn't realize the first the first pass was a six plus. But you know, on another day, he could have made he could have made either of those five plus passes, and he he would have probably scored, wouldn't he? So uh, he was he was a touch unlucky to run, but also. He got a bit lucky with the scatters and, you know, a bit unlucky getting more or less outbashed. I think he's I think he's probably taken more stuns. Obviously just green surf there. Both took a Kaz. Um, you know, Darun does have plus one AV on every single player. Um, and has more overall strength. But, of course, Ornan has the strongest player. So, you know, it is hard to deal with it. With a strength five ogre, especially backed up by all the guard, and actually out guarding uh, to run there. But um, yeah, you know, a good, a good half from Ornan, and now he should be able to um, to get the one nil win. But anything can happen in Blood Bowl, can't it? And uh, it's certainly not nailed on. That humans score on the offense against orcs. You know, orcs can have a very, a very good defense. Um, he has got to watch out, of course, to run for the the breaks from the from the catchers. That's the thing. I think I would always keep this mighty blow tackler. And again, this is where, the, to be fair, the second mighty blow pays off because I would keep the tackler back just in case of a catcher breakaway. I would, I would keep him back the entire half basically and try to do defense with ten players. Uh, yeah. So Drone gets another reroll, which will which will be good. Because I mean, you know, he doesn't have to turn over on on here. He just has to stop the score to get to overtime. And he's four rerolls against two. So, you know, the odds are in his favour if he gets to overtime, I think. You know, he's armour nine versus armour eight. Yes, it's piling on mighty blow and mighty blow versus two mighty blow, but still. Um, I think the odds are in Darun's favour to outbash the humans. And, oh yeah, also, Ornan has 13 players. Um, no, no, everyone has the starting 11 still, none of them needed. So in this case, in this particular match, if it doesn't go to overtime, um, three rerolls and 12 players would have just been better, wouldn't it? It does give Ornan the chance to foul, which is good. And he gets a Kaz, a, well, a Kaz, a KO there from the Ogre. The Ogre's been pretty good for Ornan. And just controls the Black Orc there. And fails the pickup. Now, <laughs> if if Darun had a Wood Elf team, this would be, basically be game over. Of course, if D Darun had a uh, Wood Elf team, there's no way Ornan would have just left the ball completely unprotected in the backfield. But, even if he had protected it against Wood Elves, Failing the one in nine pickup, um, you know, one in nine chance of failing that pickup, uh, three plus three plus, one in three times one in three gives you a one in nine failure state. So, you know, if this if this had been wood elves or probably dark elves, even if you protected the ball a bit, it'd have been in a horrible position failing the pickup or scaven whatever. Um, now this. 
I can see why Darun did do this because Orcs are really, really slow. Um, and you want to put some pressure on, but again, he's committing the tackler, and I really don't like committing the tackler. I would have tried to not commit the tackler um, until it was necessary here. Onan completely disregarding the threat to his balls. <laughs> he's unafraid of, of Durun's ball sack and goes straight for a palm on the stun. Uh, to no avail. And yeah, just going to rely on picking the ball up. And, and you know, and the, the, the speed of Orcs, you know, they're really not a threat of it. He, despite despite failing the pickup and Durun GFIing twice, most of the Orcs have no choice but to just you know, base up and make blocks, that's all they can do. And he fails to pick up again. So that's that's a one in eighty one for ball pickups. And now this would have definitely been game over against the Wood Elf team, regardless of how he positions, I think. If you fail two pickups in a row against an elf team, you're done. But Orcs have just got a punch, that's all they can do. And yeah, he had to block with the lineman there because of the uh, Ogre, and he wants to free up the Black Orc here. Wants to put a bit of pressure on. And now we can block him and get the get the Blitzer through. A little bit greedy, uh, going just for the two dice block. He could have brought the thrower in. Make it a three. But yeah, now, now he's under a lot of pressure now, on him. Um You know, even Orcs, after two turns of failures, the Orcs have got in the the Orcs have got in the mix here now. And uh, he's gonna have to blitz near the ball. He double skulls. <laughs> this has been horrific for Onan, really. Double skulls. Plus one in eighty one pickup fails. Um, yeah, and th this is the thing. This is where to run with him not making that three dice. The payoff was to be able to base the pommer, and he didn't base the pommer. He should have based the pommer. You know, there's no way Onan's going to make a pom blitz there, and you know he would have been in more trouble if he had if he had had that there. So. And he fails again the pickup. This is one in seven hundred and twenty-nine pickup fails. <laughs> That's an unbelievable chance, isn't it? One in seven hundred and twenty-nine times that happens. Three pickup fails in a row by sure hands. Unbelievable. The good thing is it hasn't cost him any rerolls. And the other good thing is it's against orcs. And orcs are just a bit shit, you know? Like this is this is the problem with orcs, you know? They're just they're just a dumb bash team and it's it's not to say that the coaches are dumb or anything, but they are just a dumb bash team. They can't, they can't take advantage of good luck like this, or you know, if it had been bad play, they they can't exploit bad play or good luck in the same way as as an elf team or even a human team can. You know, if this had been another another human team, it'd have been all over with three pickup fails. And, and orcs, it's it's not a slight on Darun or a slight on anyone who picks bash teams. They just don't have the capability. To, to do anything about this situation, which is, you know, he's, if it, let, let's say he tries to get two dice in the ball by dodging this guy, if he fails this dodge, now all of a sudden it's great for Ornan, like really great for Ornan. Um, you know, so it's like, it's really, uh, he's in a horrible spot, actually, to run. <laughs> so he goes for the dodge one dice. And the pickup. And the GFI. So now the obvious play would be to dodge dodge with a dodge with a blitzer to get to like here. Um yeah, I think what I would have done. <laughs> um Yeah, is dodge with this blitzer here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, to there maybe. And then dodge with a black orc, one, two, three, four, GFI. You know, and just just have something to try and stop them hitting him because at the moment he's he's just gonna get two dice back, isn't he? And there's nothing he can really do to stop that. Um Incredible reroll here by the run. Um getting the getting the stomach. It's still all all that really does is stop the sure hands recovery. 
Um, it was a very ballsy reroll. And the Ogre doing a great job and keeping three guys occupied there. Backed up by the other guard. And yeah, he's got two dice in the ball. But no, no recovery though. But that's the thing, the no recovery doesn't really matter because the run doesn't have anyone else apart from this guy. Who gets KO'd. <laughs> And then we get a Durun scatter, an on and scatter, and he catches it. And <laughs> now all of a sudden, it's looking horrible. For, it's actually, at this point, it's looking horrible for Durun. He's down to nine players on the pitch versus 11, uh, versus 10. And the Ogre's dominating these guys, blocking away, no problems. Four, four guys down on three. Four guys on three, all of the runs are on the floor. Four guys here, not really doing anything. Another guy down on the floor, and you know, he's, he's recovered it all. Um, on and with that, with that KO in a, in a scatter catch. And I think at this point, if I was to, to run, I would be absolutely tr just trying to get back. I would be, you know, he's moved forward with this guy. I'd be trying to control the middle get back, regroup, and just go for the stop in the score, because he doesn't have to He doesn't have to turn over on him at this point. So I, I don't think it's a mistake what he's done here, uh, which is blitzing and still going for the ball, because, you know, there was payoff and everything. Um, you can't say it was just wrong to do this, but personally, I would have just tried to go back and regroup, because I think if if the run stops on on here, it goes to overtime and he's got more rerolls. And he, he can get these KOs back as well. So I would have definitely changed changed tactics at that point. Once he got the KO and recovery. Um, you know, now he doesn't even need the blitz here. He could just block. And he could have used a blitz somewhere else. Um, this, this ogre's now down on the wrong side of the ball, isn't he? It's, uh, it's bad times for Durun. Very bad times. I was a little bit surprised that uh, Ornan didn't put that guy here. But maybe he saw something that I didn't. Um, and yeah, you know that this isn't this isn't bad really for uh, for to run. What he has is the Orc Thrower, three, four, five, double GFI. So you probably don't do that. You probably just go straight up for the five plus uphill surf. I think it's probably the best the best option. Or if you don't go for that, you try to knock down the ogre here and blitz here, or you know, maybe he's, maybe he's just go for the four plus dodge, one dice blitz, and then move him back. You know, again, try to get players back in front, and and because he didn't do it last turn, it's making it harder for him to do it this turn as well. And it's uh, yeah, he makes. I think I would have hit the ogre here 100% to free up two players. To move in that guy there. Um, yeah, I would have 100% just blocked. Blocked the ogre, because if you palm, you get these two guys free. And he hits the ogre. And doesn't knock him over, and uses a reroll. And I mean, that's just really horrible. I would have, you know, I would have 100% hit the ogre that way. That was, that was way better block, I think. Because even on a push, it's getting the ogre out of the way. And uh, rather than further into the play by pushing him this way. So now he can't really go for the 5 plus splits surf. But he can still maybe should have done. I don't know. It's, it's really, I think, I think that was turn 12 got him into this pickle on turn 13. And I think, you know, you, would, you don't want to make the 5 plus surf. You know, it's, it's really unlikely to work 5 plus surf. But um, maybe it was his best opportunity here because, you know, he's... He's got guys free to run straight away. On on first action, he moves his does is move the ball up. This uh, this ogre's you know t t t occupying everybody up there, and he's in scoring range. And he, he definitely won't scare won't care about scoring on turn fifteen because orcs are unlikely to make a two turn touchdown. Um, this block is yeah. So here that this catcher could have gone to a better spot. But he wanted to get the two dice block here, which would have given him a two dice blitz here. Um, so 
Yeah, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a crap move from the catcher. The catcher could have totally come to like a good a good spot, but the the idea was to get a push to allow a two dice blitz up there. And yeah, let's let's see what the run does. He blitzes the backside around the front side. I think most people the game would have hit in front, but he's he's got his whole team behind the ball, hasn't he? That's there. I think that was, you know, I'm probably repeating myself a lot now. I think that was his critical failure on turn twelve was to not change tack. I think he absolutely should have done. Um, but you know, again, that's easy for me to say watching not being in the match. You know, he had that. He's just seen a one in seven hundred and twenty-nine chance from <laughs> of failing the ball pickups and everything. So, you know, he, he probably thinks he's he's up. Now, here the problem is with this dodge. This dodge is a nice dodge. It's really nice dodge. Dodge GFI here, huge payoff. Getting the guard in there. Um, he uses the reroll and fails it. And the failure state is leaving the human unbased. So it's a horrible one to fail. Um, it's a horrible thing to use your last reroll on a four plus, but to be fair, um, you know it's it was kind of needed because without it, Ornan's blitzing here and he's running through, and it's uh, yeah it's pretty it's pretty sucky for Durun now, isn't it? And now and now Ornan knows that Durun's got no rerolls, so he doesn't really want to dodge this one out so much. Um, you know, forcing forcing to run to make the dodge is good. Um, actually, I believe Ornan ran out of time on this turn, so maybe he would have gone for the dodge. But you know what a difference. Ornan makes his 4-plus dodge after Durun didn't. So if Durun had made that 4-plus dodge, maybe, 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 you know, maybe his defense works. Um, and it's actually, it was actually with a reroll as well, whereas Ornan wouldn't have rerolled that 4-plus, I don't think. And... There you go, turn 16, he gets the score. He does a bit of running around first, why not? <laughs> the ogre was amazing, just didn't bonehead at all, uh, pretty much. I think one bonehead the entire match. And, yeah, you know, those two 4 plus dodges, I mean, okay, Ornans wasn't critical, um, but he still made it. And Durun's was absolutely critical. I think if Durun made that dodge, his defense would have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I do think, I do think Durun basically made kind of. Again, I don't want to be nasty, but I do think Durun made kind of tactical errors. I think he, I think he pushed too hard after he, he should have changed his mind. I think he should have done. That's just my opinion. Again, I'm not saying you know it wasn't definitively wrong to keep pushing for the ball, but I would have certainly changed changed uh, changed my course. Um, once thing, you know what that KO recovery was a massive swing, and now obviously it's easy to say that you know there's there's no emotions on my part as well, you know, and uh, on and other people might have crumbled under the pressure when he failed all the pickups, you know, um, but yeah, I think that was that was a killer for Duran, and yeah, maybe. Maybe if he'd change, you know, I think Ornan pretty much played perfectly, I would say. You know, he did a very safe defense. And then he scrambled around his offense, you know, as much as he had to. Whereas I do think Duran maybe, you know, squashed himself on the sideline too hard. And then maybe kind of over-pursued, uh, you know, chased it. That that blitz with the, the blitz at a pressure the ball, he could have come back with him and stuff. So, you know, it's... It's just my opinion, and it's yeah. It doesn't mean that I'm right and and Durun's wrong, but I do think I do think Onan played better, and uh, and I think Onan deserved to win. Uh, though though of course Onan still had better luck, <laughs> you know. And that, that's the thing. It's uh, I think he pretty much did have better luck. That's not being 
It's not being harsh or bitter or anything. I do think Onan had the better look. Now, it's easy to say that after he's failed a 1 in 729 <laughs> pickup fails, but they didn't really matter, did they? That was the thing that was against Orcs. So if you're ever going to fail three pickups, it's against an Orc team where they just can't pressure you at all. Or maybe Darun should have rolled more dice to try and pressure him. He had the four rerolls. Made equal AV breaks. One, had, one side had armor 8 and the other side had armor 9. Um, to be fair, Onan did make more blocks. Um, so that's that's something. But to run, he made one out of five passes, which was at the end it didn't matter. Dodges were fifty percent, which is pretty poor, isn't it? GFIs were all right. Failed both wake ups, uh, but I think that was at the end of the match, so it didn't matter. And thirty eight, thirty one, twenty three. So he hardly rolled any any knockdowns there, and loads of both downs. Uh, one in nine reroll, one in nine reroll. Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a greedy one. And then a 1 in 36, so you know. Um, 1 in 36 for on and there. And a bit of greed there. So you know, so... And 28, 32, 37. So he definitely had the better block dice, no question, on and. Um Dodges 81%. So it's alright when humans are, are elves, isn't it? <laughs> Bonehead 12-1. <laughs> so, but the pickups though were unbelievable. Nine out of six. <laughs> so the pickups, though, you know, you know, I'm not glossing over the pickup fails. They were horrific, and that would have lost in the game against a lot of races. You know, if Darun had been using Wood Elves, I think Darun would have probably won just because of the the pickup fails. And it's so I think that is the limitation of bash teams, really, especially slow bash teams. Um, and yeah, you know, I full, full credit to one, and I do think he he fully deserved to win. Commiserations to the run, uh, but yeah, you know, I, there's, there's, I, I don't think there's any doubt who got luckier overall, um, but I don't think it was really a factor. I, I do think fully deserved, fully deserved for Onan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.